Okay, our next option for finding GCF is using down division. So the GCF, the highest common factor or greatest common factor using down division is the most efficient method because we'll also use it finding um, our multiples. We'll deal with those later. But it allows us to go through and kind of recognize what number goes into both at the same time. So we had done down division to find prime factorization. We said what prime number can divide into it. But now you can think of what number can divide into both 48 and into 64. So I look at them, they're both even, I would pick 2 first. Maybe you look at both and you see 4 goes into both of them, or maybe even 8 goes into both of them. Whatever it is that you see first, you put that number on the outside, and then the answer of what you'd have when you divide your number, when you divide your factor into both of those. So 2 goes into 48 24 times, and 2 goes into 64 32 times. And is there any number that goes into 24 and 32? Well, they're both even, so we know 2 could again. But I look at those, and I actually see 4 goes into both of them. 4 goes into 24 6 times, and 4 goes into 32 8 times. They're still both even numbers, so I know I can divide by 2. And 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 8 4 times. How about into 3 and into 8? Is there any number that goes into both of those? Well, 4 can be divided into 2 times 2, but 3 is not even, so you can't divide it by 2. 3 is actually a prime number. Can you divide 4 by 3? Not evenly. So that tells us that this is our last step. The only thing that could go into both of those numbers is 1, and then we would just have a repeat of our last step. So when we get to that point, then we know that our down division is finished. So our factors, the things that we use to divide into both numbers, are these digits here on the side. We divided in 2, and later we divided in 4, and later we divided in 2 again. So we take those three numbers there on the side, or however many digits you have on the side, and we multiply them together. 2 times 4 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So that tells us that our HCF, or rather our GCF, our greatest or our highest common factor, is 16. So that means 16 is the largest number that can divide into 48 and into 64.